everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and on this channel I like to upload videos on motherhood and baby, home renovation and updates and speed cleaning and organisation. So if that's the type of content you enjoy watching, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell for future uploads and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So today's video is going to be a what my baby eats in the day video but this one is an exciting one because it's in collaboration with two lovely ladies here on YouTube. We have Leanne from Baby Bell and Mummy here on YouTube and Instagram. Leanne talks all things motherhood and baby with her 15 month old little girl and has some great videos on being confident with breastfeeding. And we're also collaborating with Lexi from Babies, Budgets and Beyond. Lexi has a nine month old little boy and her channel focuses on all things babies and budgeting. The budgeting tips are brilliant, especially for first time parents trying to be financially stable with a new baby in their lives. They too are going to be showing you what their babies eat on an average day. So if you do go ahead to their channel, please remember to hit their subscribe buttons as well. And also comment in their videos if you found their channel through this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what my baby eats in a day. So currently Graylin and I wake up at about 8am, 8.30am. So Graylin usually gets his first bottle of the day at around about 8.30, 9am. He gets 9 ounces of the Mamiya formula from Aldi. We've only used Mamiya formula as his powdered formula, but use the Optimal Ready Made formula bottles when we're out and about. And we only choose Mamiya formula due to how affordable it was compared to other brands. <laughs> Most of the time Grey will get his bottle whilst he's still in bed but because I'm trying to prepare myself for going back to work after maternity I decided to take him downstairs to give him his bottle in his bouncer this time. He gets himself so excited when he sees his bottle, usually gets himself that excited that he starts to cry if he can't get his bottle there and then. I managed to get him strapped in before he even had a chance to see his bottle on this morning which is why I think he was in a happier mood about his bottle. I'll leave him to drink his bottle in his bouncer whilst I go and have a quick tidy but now that he's become very mobile this is usually the scene I walk back into. As you can see he's thrown his bottle out of his bouncer and it's not even finished. Out of the 9 ounces he'll drink about 7 ounces but I don't give him less than 9 ounces because there's some days he'll happily have his full 9 ounces. <laughs> So at around about 10, 10.30 a.m. I'll make up some brunch. I'm not yet giving him breakfast because we both wake up too late to give him anything to eat after his first bottle. So 10.30 at the latest is when I'll give him some proper food. Normally I'll have some food batch cooked in the freezer but on this day I needed to make some up. So I went with some oat and banana pancakes mixed with berries inspired with Home with Shan on YouTube and Instagram. The mixed fruits are kept in the freezer so as you've just seen I've just put some in a tub and microwave them for 30 seconds initially. I'll then start with making the pancake batter. This banana was very ripe which I prefer for grilling as it's a nice naturally sweet tasting food when the banana is at its ripest. I smoosh the banana down with a fork and then add some rolled oat about one third of a cup full to one banana. If the mixture is looking a little bit dry, I'll add the smallest amount of milk to the mix. Once the berries are fully defrosted, I'll chop them up so that the larger berries are a little bit smaller as to not be a choking hazard and then I'll add them to the mix. I then just add a few dollops of the mixture to a frying pan and let them cook on both sides for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Once they're cooked I'll leave them to cool for a little while before cutting them up into finger food sized portions. I've tried these myself and they're actually really tasty so I actually leave a couple for myself to enjoy as well as to use as a prompt for grilling to follow when I'm eating. The portions just go into his bowl ready for serving. <laughs> So I think it was about 11am by the time I finished cooking his pancakes. I'll pop the pieces onto his tray so he can feel around for them and pick them up himself. I mentioned in a previous video that we've started feeding grill in pouches as well as finger foods just to get some substance sent to him. You'll see in this video that he doesn't actually eat much of the finger foods just yet but we're working on it. So it means I need to fill him up with some puries instead. <laughs> During his meal times I also like to try and get him drinking water from his sippy cup. He took to his sippy cup pretty much straight away, like he knew how to hold it. Not entirely sure he's actually drinking the water, but he loves his sippy cup regardless. 
What I do first is give him his finger foods as he's not as interested in them as his pouches and purees. So if I were to give them after his pouch, he just wouldn't even entertain the finger foods. I want to try and get him comfortable with finger foods before filling him up with the pouch. On this day, I gave him the Loopy Loo Apple and Strawberry Organic Pouch from Lidl, which was a massive hit. I discovered on this day though that he's decided he's a bit bored of taking puree from the spoon, so I decided to let him suck the puree from the pouch himself. I gave him a hand by very gently squeezing the pouch just to get that period to the opening for him to suck out. Okay, so it's about 2pm here when Graylin woke up from his nap. He loves to have a bottle as soon as he wakes up. If he doesn't get his bottle there and then, as soon as he opens his eyes, all hell breaks loose. He was upset here, but as soon as he saw his bottle, he was his happy self as you can see. I didn't film making up a second bottle because there's only so many times you need to watch a bottle being made up, but for info he got another 9 ounces at this feed. After a second bottle of the day I'll give him some carrot puff sticks just to keep him interested in different tastes throughout the day. These ones are the Little Angels Organic Carrot Flavoured Puffs from Asda. And as you can see there's another bottle not finished, he only drank half of the 9 ounces but I begrudge giving him any less because I can guarantee he'll want more if he finished a smaller amount. So with the puffs, I'm not entirely sure he enjoys the flavour of them but he loves picking them up and feeling the texture change as it goes from a solid crisp to mush in his hand. I was just having a spot of lunch at this time too, I had some noodles which clearly Graylin was way more interested in, he literally can't get enough of other people's foods. In case anyone was wondering, I've got him on my lap eating as it's only a snack and to be quite honest, as long as he's sitting upright, I actually feel safer having him on my lap. Just because if he swallowed the puff the wrong way, I've got him there ready to intervene. I don't do this with full meals though, as I want to make sure he's settled properly in his high chair, especially when eating substantial finger foods. On to dinner time, we try and have food around 6pm as a family. We had a bit on on this day, so Graylin ate a little bit later than usual. Darren and I actually ordered a takeaway too, so Gray was the only one eating healthy this dinner time. Just to add, Graylin had another 9 ounce bottle at around about 5pm, but of course only drank about 6 ounces. Gray's meal consisted of boiled broccoli florets, boiled carrots and another pouch. So as you've just seen, I've popped some florets in a pan and preparing the carrot into sticks. I put them into boil for as long as possible so that they're as soft as can be for Graylin's gums as he's still not teething yet. And whilst they're on the boil, I'll prepare his pouch. The pouch we went for was a Mamiya pouch from Aldi in the flavour spaghetti bolognese with cheese. I pop it into a tub and fill with hot water to warm the pouch up. The carrots and broccoli then go into his bowl, cooled down and ready to serve to Graylin. Again, I feed him his finger foods first, so I gave him his carrots and florets on his tray. On this occasion, he actually ate a lot more of his carrots and broccoli than he normally does, but he still wasn't playing ball. He really just wanted his pouch, which I've actually started hiding from him until he's ate a majority of his finger food. <laughs> Okay. 
again, like at every meal, I'll offer him his water, which he absolutely loves. He loves playing with that bottle. I don't know if it's just because it helps his teeth or not, but he does enjoy playing with it whilst he is eating. And hopefully he's taking some water, but I'm not entirely sure that he is. Graylin gave up on the finger food, so now it's time for his pouch. Just to know, he loves his pouches, but loves his bottle more. He did not want to give up that bottle on this occasion. Like I did this morning, I started giving him his pouch and a spoon, but as I said, I think he's discovered that he likes to try and feed himself his pouch without any help at all, so that's what I did. I left him to suck up the spag ball on his own. <laughs> Once dinner is finished, Grey usually has a 9 ounce bottle at around about 7.30, 8pm just before he goes into his bath and finally before he goes to sleep he'll have a top up of 4-5 to five ounces just to send him to sleep. So there you have it, that's everything that Graylin eats in a typical day. We obviously go between pouches and finger foods, just whilst he's still getting used to picking up finger foods, I obviously want to give him a bit of substance, so yeah, we do go between pouches and finger foods at the same time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Please also remember to hit subscribe and press the notification bell for future videos. And also remember to go and check out both Leanne and Lexi's channels, which I'll link in the description box below. Please remember to hit their subscribe button as well and check us all out on Instagram. I will see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.